Hello everyone. My name is Raj. I'm a fourth year PhD student at the Julia Lab, MIT. Today I'll be talking about Bayesian Neural Ordinary Differential Equations. This work has been done in collaboration with Vaibhav Dikshit, Mohamed Tarek, Aslan Garcia Valades, and Chris Rakaukas at the Julia Lab, MIT. Recently, Neural Ordinary Differential Equations, or Neural ODEs, have emerged as a powerful framework for modeling physical simulations without explicitly defining the ODE governing the system, but learning them via machine learning. In the limit of infinite layers, a ResNet module behaves as a continuous time ODE. Neural ODEs allow the coupling of neural networks as expressive function transformations with powerful purpose-built ODE solvers, which makes them better at continuous time series modeling, but also more parameter and memory efficient. Simultaneously, since 2010, there has been an emergence of robust Bayesian inference methods suited for high parameter systems, including MCMC methods such as the no-Uton sampler, NUTS, and stochastic extensions, which include stochastic gradient longevity descent, SGLD, and the stochastic gradient Hamiltonian Monte Carlo, SGHMC. The goal of the present study is to explore uh, whether robust Bayesian inference frameworks can be integrated with neural ODEs to quantify the uncertainty in the neural ODE solution. This would have several applications in the field of uncertainty quantification in epidemiology, atmospheric, and climate science modeling. Apart from that, we can potentially use this framework to quantify uncertainty arising from classification tasks on large ML data sets like MNIST. And finally, we'll also explore the applicability of this methodology in probabilistic recovery of missing terms in dynamical system modeling. As discussed earlier, there has been significant individual work on neural ODEs and Bayesian methods for high parameter systems. Number of works in literature have explored the use of Bayesian methods to infer parameters of systems defined by ODEs. Similarly, Bayesian neural networks has been an area of active research for a while. However, there has been a little Little, however, there has been little attention paid to the specific integration of neural ODEs with Bayesian methods and applying this integration to modeling physical systems, large scale MNIST, large scale ML data sets like MNIST, and probabilistic recovery of missing terms in dynamical systems. This will be the main focus of this presentation. A simple way to describe neural ODEs is that instead of learning the nonlinear transformation between the input and output, here we learn the structure governing the transformation. Thus, instead of learning y equal to nn of x, we are learning y dash equal to nn of x. Why do we do this? One reason is that solving such a form using Euler's method, what we get is equivalent to a residual neural network. However, with this approach, the neural ODE estimates are deterministic. To obtain error estimates, we need to combine neural ODEs with Bayesian methods. Thus, we need to efficiently combine a differentiable pro programming ecosystem with a probabilistic programming one. That's when the Julia language comes in. Julia is a highly composable differentiable programming library, Flux.jl, which enables scientific machine learning. Along with that, Turing.jl is a general pur purpose, high performance and modular probabilistic programming language. Thus, Flux.jl can be seamlessly combined with Turing to enable programming of Bayesian neural ODEs without changing any of the underlying libraries. Okay, now let's come to the first object, Bayesian neural ODEs using the NUTS or no u turn sampler. The NUTS algorithm was written in 2014 as an extension of the Hamiltonian Monte Carlo algorithm. It reduces the number of user-defined parameters to be provided by automatically determining when the sampler starts making U-turns and thus stops the iterations. There are two variables, the parameter variable theta and the momentum variable r, which are drawn from the joint distribution as given in the slide. We define the parameter of the neural ODE by theta. These are the weights of the neural network which govern the neural ODE. The input data is denoted by y hat. The action of neural ODE on the input U0 produces output y tilde. The loss is defined as the square error between y hat and y tilde. This loss function along with the term resembling a Gaussian prior theta into theta into theta is used as a log probability function which is required by the NUTS sampler. This slide demonstrates the code written in the Julia language. In just 10 lines of code we are able to combine neural ODEs with the NUTS sampler to write the Bayesian neural ODE NUTS object. All of our code is public with a detailed code available at the GitHub link given in this slide. The first example, we, the first example we test the Bayesian neural ODE and UTS object 
is a spiral ODA example given by the differential equation system below. We use a neural ODA architecture with two hidden layers and 50 units in each layer. For the NUTS sampler, we use an acceptance ratio delta equal to 0.45 with 3000 warm samples and 2000 posterior samples. The plot on the left hand side is the ground truth data for the two variables. The plot on the right hand side compares the results from the 2000 posterior solutions with the ground truth data. What we can see is that the solution for all posterior samples matches the trend of the data very well. And plus, we can also capture the uncertainty arising from the solution, which was not possible with just the neural ODE. Thus, the Bayesian neural ODE and UTS object has reliable estimation abilities. We also test its forecasting abilities by training it till t equal to 1. We forecast till t equal to 1.25. The curves in the purple or violet on the right hand side show that the NUTS object also has reliable forecasting abilities. After testing its predicting and forecasting abilities, we move to some diagnosis plots. The plots on the left are the trace and density plots of the first five parameters, which show good parameter exploration. The plots on the right are the autocorrelation plot for the first five parameters. The quick decay in these plots indicate that the chains, the posterior chains obtained are well mixed. Next, we move to the second Bayesian inference framework coupled with neural OD, which is the SGLD or stochastic gradient longevity descent. We don't have much time to go through this in this presentation, but the results are similar to the NUTS. We have good estimation as well as forecasting abilities. And this object can predict accurately the cyclic structure of the underlying data, which was used in the training. Just for reference, we use the predator prey model or the load covered care uh, equations for training and forecasting in this example. Now we move to the Bayesian application of Bayesian neural ODs to the MNIST data set. The architecture we use is as follows. We use three convolutional layers with three by three filters interspersed with max pooling layers. This is followed by two neural ODE layers and a final fully connected layer. This architecture is integrated with the SGLD method or the stochastic gradient longevity method resulting in a Bayesian neural ODE object. We consider 128 images and obtain 311 posterior samples for each image. Results for this batch of 128 images have been shown here in the form of a heat map. Each cell in the figure represents the percentage of correct predictions out of the 301 posterior samples on a single image. We can see that the percentage of correct predictions for most of them lies between 90 to 100 percent. How do we differ from previous architectures for MNIST? Well, previous architectures either have a neural ODE architecture without error estimation or do not incorporate a neural ODE. In our approach, we not only incorporate, incorporate a neural ODE, but also encode the confidence of our confidence of our prediction. Thus, although there is a lot of further scope of improving the test accuracy, this is the first time a Bayesian neural ODE approach has been combined with a large scale ML data set. Now we move to the last part of the presentation, which is the Bayesian neural UDE or universal differential equations. UDEs can be used to recover terms of missing, missing terms of governing equations describing dynamical system. So consider the predator prey system given here. Let's say that this M U1, M of U1, U2 is not known. We know that the ground truth is U1 into U2, but UDEs provide a way to learn this in a deterministic form. The goal here is to recover missing terms of dynamical equations in a probabilistic manner. The algorithm which we use is a variation of SGLD called preconditioned SGLD. Each posterior sample represents the recovered missing term. The plot here shows the ground truth data which is shown by the red dots, which is M of U1, U2 equal to U1 into U2. And it is superimposed with 100 posterior samples each posterior sample represents the missing term. So we can see that all 100 trajectories match very well with the ground truth data. We now move to the symbolic recovery of the missing terms. For this, we obtain a sequentially thresholded rigid regression algorithm. We choose a sparsity parameter lambda. And to finally choose the model, <clears throat> we get the AIC score or the archaic information criteria 
for different choices of lambda and we'll finally select the model with the lowest AIC score. This table shows that as lambda increases, the number of active terms in the model decreases because the sparsity increases. And finally, we see that the model with the lowest AIC score has just one dominant term, U1 into U2, which is exactly what we have in the ground truth data. The model was found to be M, U1, M of U1 into U2 equal to 0.96 U1 into U2, which is very close to the ground truth solution of U1 into U2. Thus, for all sample neural networks, we see that the functional forms are correct, which indicates that the model discovery is robust to uncertainty. Future work will further identify the relationship between model uncertainties and probabilistic automated discovery. Finally, in conclusion, we show that the Bayesian learning framework can be integrated with neural ODEs using two sampling methods, NUTS and SGLD. We also show that this, this object, the Bayesian neural ODE objects can be applied to the MNIST data set. And finally, Considering the universal differential equation framework, we demonstrate the Bayesian recovery of missing terms from dynamical systems. Future work is needed to add more Bayesian methods to this framework, such as variation inference, stochastic gradient SM HMC, compare it with neural SDEs, and follow-up work needs to be done to apply the Bayesian neural UDE framework to more complicated systems, such as epidemiology and possibly COVID-19 data. Thank you very much.